the usual feature and, and the, the, that comes at the end to be a, a member uh, news. I've had various uh, photos sent to me. Please do send any photos, updates of things you're doing uh, that I can use on these uh, presentations. You may like Gray enough to remind me 20 minutes before that he sent pictures to me two months ago. But <laughs> I also look at Facebook, see what people have been posting recently on Facebook, so you might appear and not realise. Um, so we've got to start off with Graham at Aero Park at uh, East Midlands. Uh, the Bassett um, yeah. did look like that when it was uh, being restored. It now looks like that, and it's outside on display. Uh, I've also repainted the, Gra the uh, Jaguar, and the RVC is half been repainted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got the sheriff. The gentleman on the right is the designer. Yeah, look, on the left is one of the designers. Yeah. One on the right is a bloke who looked after it, and he sadly died like a Right. We've got the, uh, the bastardly. Yeah, yeah, it's a new copy of Windows, did you? And uh, you've had LED uh, lights fitted. Yeah. Is that through some sort of grant? Or? The grant from the airport, yeah, for 8,000 pounds. Oh. Uh, the Miles Aircraft Collection and the, the Airplane Collection at Hooton Park, some pictures from uh, Julian regarding the Miles Collection. But uh, Peter Turner has donated parts to them, so they've now got uh, wings for the Magister uh, and also uh, the uh, donation of the Genomai. Wings for the Messenger, and this is a, a Germany project now following on with the same team who've done the Messenger. Yeah. And that's what Mars Aircraft Collection originally just wanted to see a Messenger and a Germany on public display somewhere, so we're getting there. That's a hoot, yeah. yeah. And he's also got some leftovers. It's <laughs> a new home for. <laughs> that right? Actually, if anyone is interested, that, that's not going to Hooton Park, but the, uh, Peter Turner has got the reins of that project, um, which at one point I saw quite intact uh, some time ago. He got it from Spain as a restoration project. But if anyone is interested, then uh, let me know. I can put them in touch. Yeah. Yes, he, wants to, he wants to sell it, but probably not for a lot, I don't think. <coughs> right, OK. Um, Medway Aircraft Preservation Society. They've uh, done us an update. Um, Her Majesty Queen Camilla has uh, agreed to continue as their patron. So, uh, uh, she's obviously cut down on what she's been a patronage of. And the uh, owner of the ex-Soviet Hurricane has now gifted it to uh, the society. Mm. Uh, the kayak uh, restoration has been, uh, been completed, but unfortunately they, they've, uh, they've named it Alice in the mark respect to the owner's uh, young paramedic granddaughter who was tragically killed recently. And it will be donated to a suitable youth organisation. The Hurricane, they're uh, progressing. Obviously, now they've got the ownership, uh, that's cleared up an area, but uh, they're, they're continuing to uh, make parts for it, bring it back together again. And uh, also, there was um, some doubt about the identity, which is uh, hopefully being uh, uh, sorted out. Trolley accumulators that they're restoring, they're uh, continuing on those um, to bring them back together again. And I've uh, got various uh, electrical components and wiring diagram. And the shorts is also progressing. Uh, sort of trial fit at the nose. And uh, detailing repainting assembly of uh, a section of the engine. And the question marks. So that's to remind me to say that they are now also interested in a new project got something that might uh, interest them, please contact Medway. You never know. They've obviously cleared a bit of space. Uh, Benmore's Pearl War Museum. Uh, they've uh, finished their restoration of the T-33. And also they've started uh, recite their restoration hang tours for the Hazzity, um, which uh, is only £5, which uh, when I did it, 
you got a ride in a US Air Force bus that was five pound on its own. <laughs> well, we're in fire to project. They've now attached the cockpit and the fuselage together. And then I'll progress him in the towel. It's the next uh, major area to be um, worked on. Some pictures of uh, obviously the, the attachment coming together and also some of the internals, which uh, includes 3D printed items to, to uh, complete the, cop the, the internals or items and equipment. And also the, the there will be all uh, flying surfaces will be movable with the, with the correct uh, linkages. Stay Maris. Like a group shot of the volunteers and Ian. Not looking very happy because, uh, as you may uh, realise from recent press releases, they are uh, having a lot of trouble with access to the site, which has heavily impacted their finance situation. Uh, it's due to the water company doing works that were post the last 10 days. He's given an update. Um, so I won't read now word for word. Uh, obviously it's had a major impact. Uh, what was supposed to be 10 days of work has gone on for months. And it's still ongoing. And uh, obviously asking for help in publicising uh, because they have engaged, as it says, 45 different media outlets. Uh, including TV, etc., and have not been interested in the story. Um, so they're trying to <coughs> put pressure on, obviously, uh, Essex and Suffolk Water, which is owned, owned by Northumberland Water, um, to try and actually get some sort of uh, financial assistance. But also, they're asking people just to try and fight their way through the yeah. waterworks and go and visit them. So spread the word that, that Stone Maris have got three uh, events in, uh, I think, two in August and one later in the year, where they're really asking people to support. You know, if you can fly, and that's a lot easier than driving. Oh, but, <laughs> but, um, but really, they they're just looking for public support and spreading the word that those events somehow are going to happen, and they just need people to come to them. And they are open, but it's just a bit difficult to get to. Do we know what work they're actually, or what the company is doing? I think they're laying a new main or something and said it just closed the road. Yeah, but we've, um, they're, they're doing it up by me and they've gone under the A505. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're they're disrupted, guys, they've just gone under one of their magic These sheets. guys are meant to have set up diversions, yeah. um, but they've just set up road close signs um, and so the public don't think the place is open. And the diversions are meant to be manned uh, during daylight hours tell people which way to go in order to be able to get mm. to Stone Maris, and they're just not doing it. Mm. Uh, so it says, um, uh, was it help? Uh, as, as Alan said, uh, it's been publicity that they are open, um, and uh, somehow you can try and get to them. But they've started with all my petitions. Uh, Got publicity going out. Obviously, we, we've publicised it on our yeah. website. Yeah. And and, uh, the petition might work better because you get a, a lot more signatures there saying yeah. you're lobbying in Parliament mm. in that context. So yeah, I'll pass that do, to you. Could be directed at the water company. Yeah, yeah. Whoever their local MP is now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Nigel Farage. <laughs> That's Clacton. Yeah. Clapton. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, Dunfries and Galloway. Uh, David Reed has retired as curator after 40 years. British Phantom Aircraft Group, uh, they've put XT597 back together, which is a, a, a pre production I think, aircraft. South Yorkshire Aircraft Museum, they've uh, created a Poland display room. <coughs> also at their uh, 75th anniversary of Canberra event, yeah. it was well attended. 
75 years. They even had a delegation from South Africa. It was ace. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. Mm. Nice weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nelson at uh, Sutherland have uh, now got a hawk. Museum of Army Flying at Little Wallop, they have now got Apache. <coughs> Skullthorpe, as uh, Julie mentioned earlier, the, the old chapel building that became disused in 92, looked like that, now it looks like that. Which is their new home. Uh, City and Norwich Air Museum, they open the Fenland Hall. Air Museum. Uh, they got some uh, old radios working on uh, D Day and uh, spoke to Pickford Bridge at 5 a.m. Uh, Blackbush Heritage Trust uh, working on the Viking. Uh, Brooklyn's had another flying. I'm uh, reliably told that that aircraft is landing. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking off. Uh, That's proof that it landed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Mercedes building behind me. Uh, the Aviation Data Research Archive has moved to Agro Heritage at Woodford. And uh, the Cotswold Aircraft Restor Restoration Group has got a project to build Dr. Jenner's balloon. Uh, I don't know if you want to say more, Nick. Uh, he's still here. He had to slip away. Had to slip away. So they're, they're <laughs> intending and planning and uh, working through the process of trying to build a, a replica of the balloon and fly it on the anniversary at the site, uh, tethered, uh, where it all happened. And then, I've, if you haven't noticed, there's a gentleman at the back filming this. <laughs> and uh, that video will become available online. This is the link on the Facebook page of uh, the Newark meeting. Uh, and, uh, and you are able to, it's a private link to a YouTube site, and so it's not, you can't search for it on YouTube, but obviously the links will be on the Facebook page for you to then see. And if the technology works. Uh, welcome to Nokia Museum. Uh, Quite an interesting day really in many respects because 51 years ago, actually in date terms the 14th of April, uh, we actually had our official opening to the public and last year we celebrated our 50th. Um, it was actually on a Saturday but obviously as the, the dates have moved so that actual date is tomorrow. So 51 years have been opened to the public. I'll put an apology up straight away. Um, to the So uh, we've now got Andy filming the new meeting that he filmed. So you'll be able to watch when Alan sends you the links of the Hendon meeting. Uh, uh, what, what Andy has done, because the visuals were so poor, unfortunately, at Newark, he actually exits in the pictures of the presentation, so you do get a better view of the presentations you can than we did see them. at Newark. That's, uh, that's me. I don't know if Alan wants to add any extra. Uh, just, just many, many thanks to Andy Lambert for doing this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a resource that we're going to be able to use uh, going forward. Uh, and can I just add, Alan, that when Julian was talking about Woodley, it's all on andysvideo.com. We filmed it 
the Brooklyn flying that was just mentioned, andysvideo.com, along with all the other flyings that's been at Brooklyn's over the years. There's plenty on there to see that is public, as right. well as this private stuff. So embed andysvideo.com in your, uh, in your search.